എല്ലാവരും ദയവായി അവരവരുടെ സീറ്റിൽ ഇരിക്കുക ഈ വാതിലിൽ ദയവായി ആര് നിൽക്കരുത് എല്ലാ
by whom it is presented also. We are proud to have Justice Peace Sadashiva, Honorable Governor of Kerala, to present this award. The medal is magnificent, receiving the invitation of this humble trust and honoring the award, making the ceremony as an auspicious one. Honorable Justice P. Sadashiva, hailing from an agricultural family in Leo district of Tamil Nadu. So, in Justice P. Sadashiva, Graduated from the Governor Law College Madras in 1970, Governor Prader and Legal Advisor to several public organizations. He was appointed as a permanent judge of the Madras High Court. He was elevated to the post of Judge of Supreme Court on 21st August 2007. He was sworn in as the 40th Chief Justice of India in 19 July. 2013. A national process is evident in many path-breaking judgments, like the Reliance Gas judgments. He directs to the union and state governments to protect manual scavenging and to grant compensation to families of those who died in series in 1993 shows his concern for the downtrodden. Justice Sadashiva is also credited with the judgments that led to the implementation of the reservation for the disabled and the introduction of electoral reforms like not a paper trial, etc. So delivered the judgments in the Mumbai blast case, the biggest series heard in the history of the Supreme Court. His decision in the Rajiv Gandhi assassination of his case on the unexplained and unreasonable delay in disposal of perceived petitions by the President leading to computation of that sentence into life term was also noted nationwide. So the Governor of Kerala on 15 September 2014 has pioneered a quality improvement drive in higher education by instituting the Chancellor's Award for the best university in the state. His interest in agriculture, concern for the welfare of farmers, commitment to social justice, and democratic values have made him a people's governor. Justice Sadashivam is married to Srimadhi Saraswati and has two sons. I respectfully welcome Honorable Justice P. Sadashivam on behalf of the Law Trust and the distinguished personality. <laughs> His Holiness Sri 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 Kesavananda Bharati Kupada the present head of Sri Yetir Marsh, successor of Sri Ishwarananda Bharati Swamiji, at the age of 19, on 14th November 1960, and since then, blessing and guiding his followers and devotees coming from all parts of India and abroad. Swamiji invites wholeheartedly every visitor without any discrimination of religion, caste, and rich or poor. Swamiji regularly and actively participates in religious, cultural, arts and social activities. Swamiji is a great Karnali and Hindustani singer. Sri Swamiji was described by Abhigate Nana Kavkiwala thus, History may look upon Keshavanda Bharati's days as the greatest contribution of the Republic of India and the constitutional jurisprudence. The name of Sri Keshavanda Bharati remains indelible in the annals of Indian judicial. His name is an icon that remains in the hearts of the legal fraternity which continues forever. Swamiji is an adult pursuer of Advaita, which is the cornerstone of unity and indelibility. It is indeed a privilege for the Gardas to honor His Holiness with this prestigious award in the name of the legendary tourist Justice Diya Krishnaya, there too from the hands of another legendary from the Indian judiciary, Justice P. Sadashiva, our honorable governor. I welcome your holiness, Sri 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 Keshavananda Bharati Prabha. Honorable Mr. Justice Devan Rajan. Sir, we are grateful 
and much of light to your Lordship's acceptance in our invitation to deliver a keynote address in this occasion. I humbly welcome your Lordship to this session. Advocate Bishop Shai, so I sincerely welcome your good self to this session. Advocate Joseph Jo, Honorable Member of Bar Council of Kerala and former Chairman Bar Council of Kerala. Sir, I welcome your good self to this occasion. I welcome Advocate Mangal Dada in this occasion. I welcome Sri Dr. Professor N.K. Jayabhasa in this occasion. Advocate Prema Kumar, the Secretary of Glass Trust. I welcome Sri Prema Kumar to this function. Furthermore, importantly, I would like to welcome the Honorable Judicial Officers, Land Advocates, Media Friends, Trust Members, my friends and students who have come to witness this auspicious ceremony. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Now I request Dr. N.K. J. Kumar, advisor of law to the Honorable Chief Minister of Kerala, to deliver the medicine. Honorable Mr. Justice, Devan Pranachandra and Kodo, Kerala. Patron of the Law Trust. Other respected personalities and the guys, distinguished members of the audience, it is indeed a privilege for me to be a part of this function. And I recollect with a sense of pride. I was the chairman of the group for the first time we had to share a lot of students in the office four years ago. Today it is a special occasion because the award goes to His Holiness Sri Sri Keshavan Dabharadi. My life, I must have uttered the name of Keshavan Dabharadi hundreds of times. But in a different context, without actually seeing the man in flesh and blood. Once then I went to the Central University of Kerala in Kasimbo, somebody told me that his ashram is nearby. I made an attempt to meet his holiness. Unfortunately, during that period, he was somewhere else in Australia. So, this is a Now, as law has to be understood and analyze the social context. That is why the law trust has appropriately decided to have a seminar that to on the basic structure doctrine for which this holiness case one and the family was instrumental. And the seminar we just told. By standing on this dais, I must also we collect my own association with our own Justice Yaa Krishnaya and uh, share with you the feel for what to say we are lost when we lost in the Sri Krishnaya that we were back. Anyway, Lord Krishna has decided to commemorate the memory of that great great news by instituting an award. And now the three previous awards have gone to the Minister Persons. I appreciate, I place on record my appreciation for the activities of the artists and Krishna, the Vedicas in their future activities, and I assure the Lord Persons all my support and encouragement in their future activities. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Next, I request Advocate Joseph John. Member of the Bar Council of Kerala to express his views.
Honorable Justice P. Sadashivam, Honorable Governor of Kerala. His Holiness Sri 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 Keshwan Mithalji Samji. Justice Dev Damindran. Dr. N.K. Jayakumar. Sri Shakti Rahman. Sri Sulega M. Sri Premakumar. Dear friends, my duty is only to facilitate the function of awarding or presenting the Law Trust Award to Swamiji. First of all, I congratulate Sri 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 Keshavananda Bharati Swamiji for being honored by the Law Trust in this occasion. As you know, this is a personality who is known to all who are acquainted with the constitutional law of India. It's an incidence that the Honorable Governor of Kerala, who was the Chief Justice of India, is honored him with the presentation of the award. Keshwarthapa is not only with the award for the reason that he is a legal luminary for an academic show. But his contribution for the existence of the constitution of the constitution is right and clear. I feel for selecting the Master Award winner. The basis of the theory declared by the Supreme Court is still continuing in force. Since the last 45 years untouched, it is this aspect now getting importance. I also congratulate. Sri Advocate Sandosh Kumar for organizing or establishing the Lord Trust and for the last years awarding Priya Krishnaya Memorial Award to personalities of importance. The Lord Trust, as you know, is, is, has been conducting several workshops, workshops, seminars, and other training programs for advocates especially for junior lawyers. He has been a member of the Bar Council of Kerala and was the chairman of the Junior Lawyer Welfare Committee. It was uh, with his support and support that the Bar Council of Kerala could establish a center for continuing legal education in the name of MK Nambia Academy for uh, Bar Council of Kerala MK Nambia Academy for uh, I once more felicitate Swamiji for, for uh, uh, getting this prestigious award in the name of Dr. Vyar Krishna. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Next, I request Honorable Justice Mr. David Ramachandran, High Court of Kerala, to deliver the keynote address. His Excellency, the Honorable Governor of Kerala, and for me more, the Chief Justice of India, the Lord Chief Justice T. Sadashiva, His Holiness, Neshwanda Bharati Swami, dignitaries on the rise, ladies and gentlemen. I had inaugurated the morning session. It was by far the same audience, it has swelled up a little bit now because I know why. But believe me, my sentiments now are totally different. It's something that I can't explain. I am in the presence of my Chief Justice of India. And I feel like a school boy in the presence of a principal of the school. Now the moment is also very, very overwhelming because I am now standing in presence of the Chief Justice of India to honor a man we have all heard so much of about, but we are seeing for the first time. And he has been honored in the name of a legal legend, the kind who has never been before and who will never be after, just as we are to smile. 
the moment is more poignant because I grew up my entire life practically in the umbrella of Jesus Sriya Krishna. I had that greatest of fortune. Now let us, when we talk about this moment, I don't know how many of you have thought about this. There is also a very interesting irony, a very pleasant irony, but very interesting irony. Keshavan and the Bhagavad Gita had actually challenged the Land Reforms Act before the Honorable Supreme Court. This act was a brainchild and a passion of Justice Vyar Krishna. And the man who led that challenge was Honorable Supreme But then, I have spoken about this to uh, Justice Krishna when I had my moments with him. I have spoken about the Keshavan and the Bharati case with A lot we have spoken about. And believe me, Justice Krishna was very happy with the result. He was very happy that the basic structure theory has come out so well. He was very happy that the constitution and the, the powers and elements will always be circumscribed by this concept called the basic structure. So this is the irony that I face today. We are honoring the man who challenged a section that was an act that was created by Justice Vijay Krishnaya in the name of Justice Vijay Krishnaya. That's an idea with symmetry. Because eventually the rule of law has now triumphed. Whatever be the nature of the challenge, eventually what we now see is a complete rule of law. Now, speaking about Swamiji, like any of you here, we have heard about him so much, we have spoken about his name so much, we have taken his name without his permission all our lives. Every day there would be at least half a dozen cases where the Keshavan and the Bharati judge is cited. We never knew the eminence behind it. Today, ladies and gentlemen, the trust presents you the eminence of the Swamiji. <laughs> now, I'm asking you a keynote address. Keynote means the most important address, or the most important aspects of the address. What is more important than we, we see the man in flesh and blood? This is the Keshavan of the Bharat. When I was invited to this occasion, they, they said that uh, Chief Justice Sadashiv was coming. I was completely ready to come. I had no, I had not even the slightest hesitation. But then when they said it is free, I literally ran here today. And I was waiting from the morning to meet the Swamiji. Now like uh, somebody has spoken about Swamiji here. Swamiji is a Karnati and a Hindustani vocalist. We don't know whether the Swamiji will be willing to regate us today. It's the most exponent of the Yaksha Gana that his eminence has, made, has composed songs and drama in the Yakshagana ethos. The history books will tell you that Swamiji Gal became the pontiff of the Ethnir Mutt at the young age of 19 in the year 1961. The Keshavananda Bharati judgment was mere 13 or 12 years after that in 1973. Swamiji Gal is a patron of education, of culture, of arts. I am told that there are arts festivals being conducted at the mud on a regular basis. Swamiji Gal is in the helm of a Carnatic school, a Kannada school, I am sorry, stand corrected, a Kannada school, a junior college. The Vidya Mandira in, uh, English school is also a Sanskrit Veda Pata Shala. So ladies and gentlemen, we are not really honoring the name of the Keshavan of the Bharat. We are honoring the man today, the multifaceted man, not merely the name behind the judgment, but a man who otherwise also is completely deserving of the award in the name of the great man, just as we are Krishnaya. Before I close, I'll just tell you a small tidbit. Justice Krishnaya was passionate about Carnatic music, very passionate. His mother, his wife, we call her Sharadama. She was also a wonderful Veena player. She used to sing well. And I remember, I think in 2007 or 8, at Justice Krishnaya's invitation, none other than Yeshu Das came to Ernaklam. We had a small uh, gathering at the town hall, Ernaklam on the, on the first floor. It's a small hall, smaller than this. And believe me, there was no moment that was more brilliant than that. And Justice Krishnaya was completely immersed. So today we'll remember Justice Krishnaya. We will remember the great man by honoring an equally great man, the Swamiji. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Thank you very much, sir. Next, I request Advocate Shaheed Ahmed, patron of Law Trust, to deliver the presidential address. I am happy to testify that the Law Trust knows no fatigue of time or age in relation to the stage. Hence, it is verifying that the Law Trust is honored by arranging such an august assembly with his, the Honorable former Chief Justice of India and the present Governor of the State of Kerala, Justice and Sadashivam, as the Chief Guest of the function and an array of dignitaries, including the, the, the great dignitary that we are assembled here to honor Sri Sri Keshavananda Bharati, Justice uh, Devan Narayan, uh, Ramachandran, Dr. N.K. Jayakumar, Advocate Joseph John, Advocate Mangala Tara, Advocate uh, Prem Kumar, my dear friend, Garimulam uh, Sandosh Kumar. The Lord Trust recognize and honor those who contributed exceptionally for the welfare of the society by conferring them its prestigious Justice V.R. Krishnaya Award every year. The award is instituted in the phone memory of the legend of judiciary, Justice V.R. Krishnaya, as a token of respect to him. This year, the Trust unanimously resolved to confer its prestigious Justice V.R. Krishna Award 2018 to His Holiness Sri Sri Keshavananda Bharati Prapada, recognizing his outstanding contribution in the field of constitutional law in India, which has benefited every citizen. Dear friends, somewhere in the space may be still resounding the fearless voice of Justice V.R. Krishna here. The reminding us of the indispensability of the judiciary in social reformation, strengthening and humanizing the downtrodden and the derelict. With the pressure of his unparalleled knowledge and through the furnace of his wonderful intelligence, just as we are Krishna here, has alchemized Indian judiciary to the benefit of the poor and the downtrodden. The stalwart of the judiciary as Justice Krishnaya can be epithetized has given us the answer through the fearless stretching of his hands to the perfection of Indian judiciary. Beyond all times and climes, the voice of Justice Krishnaya will ring through dispelling the darkness of doubts with, the, with regard to judiciary. The refinement of a nation can be estimated from the power and purity of the judiciary as exemplified by Justice V. R. Krishnaya. With no tinge of exaggeration, I like to affirm that Justice V. R. Krishnaya has proved through his life that the judiciary has been not only the champion of the law, but also the savior of the people with its germane interest in the inalienable and alienable rights of the people. This auspicious occasion, in memory of late, just as we are Krishna here, testifies the solemnity of the invincibility of judiciary. His Holiness Keshavananda Bharati has very wisely, properly, and unequivocably evoked an epoch-making judgment from the Honorable Supreme Court of India in 1973, protecting the basic structure of the Constitution of India. Of course, as Honorable Justice Devan Ramachandran pointed out here, ironically, he was challenging the Land Reform Act, but that turned to be a historic judgment for safeguarding the basic structure of the Constitution of India, but for which the very existence of democracy in, in India would have been questioned. The chance to honor 
this venerable personality comes in as an honor to the lot hosts and not elaborating because our dear president has given me a warning that i should stop within 5 minutes of course i cannot conclude my speech without mentioning about my junior advocate sandosh kumar who is undoubtedly the incarnation of nishkama karma the host of golden promises in the field of law formed by the selfless efforts with the, his great service to humanity i have reiterated on many occasions in this platform and another functions of the lord trusts that it is a great boon to me that he is my junior it is enriching to have such a junior who is a friend of course my guide philosopher and guardian not only to me to all of many of us assembled here thank you very much sir i conclude my speech inviting all assembled here to cooperate and work together with us in latest for serving humanity and to create a fearless society i again use this opportunity to thank the former chief justice of india the our the governor of our state the best person to award this the honor shri shri keshavananda bharati no, no person other than him is the befitting person and we are really honored and we are lucky to have him here thank you thank you very much sir next is the award conferring ceremony justice p sadashivam present the award i request
കൂടുതൽ പറയാനും ഞാൻ ബാധ്യസ്ഥനല്ല പറയാൻ സാധിക്കില്ല ഇതിനെല്ലാം അറിഞ്ഞ ഹൈക്കോടതിയും സുപ്രീം കോടതി ചീഫ് ജസ്റ്റിസ് ആയിട്ടായ ഗവർണർ തന്നെ ഇവിടെ തന്നെ അവർക്ക് അതിനല്ല അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ഇപ്പോൾ ഭരണം നേടിയ ജഡ്ജസ്മാരുണ്ട് വക്കീലന്മാരുണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ എല്ലാവരും ലോ പഠിച്ചവരാണ് നിങ്ങളെ മുമ്പേ ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞെങ്കിൽ അത് അത്ര ശരി പോകുന്നില്ല പക്ഷെ ഇതിനെ ഈ ലോ ട്രസ്റ്റ് ഇവരെ എന്തോ വിശേഷമായി കരുതി ഇവിടെ ക്ഷണിച്ച് എവണോ വേണമെന്ന് ഇതിൻ്റെ ലോ ട്രസ്റ്റിൻ്റെ അധ്യക്ഷനായ സന്തോഷ് കുമാർജി രണ്ട് മൂന്ന് തവണ ഞങ്ങളെ മഠത്തിലേക്ക് വന്നു അവർക്ക് പറഞ്ഞു ഞാൻ ഞാൻ ഇതെല്ലാം ഞാൻ പാർട്ടിസിപ്പേറ്റ് ചെയ്തില്ല അദ്ദേഹം സമ്മതിച്ചിട്ടേ ഇല്ല അവരൊപ്പോൾ മൂന്നാല് പേരുണ്ടായി ലാസ്റ്റ് ഒരു വാക്ക് പറഞ്ഞു സ്വാമിക്ക് അവിടെ വരണം നിങ്ങളെ നോക്കണമെന്ന് ചിലവർക്കല്ല അപേക്ഷയുണ്ട് അതിനായി വരണമെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു നിർബന്ധമായിട്ട് പറയുമ്പോൾ അവർ സ്നേഹബന്ധത്തിൽ ഉള്ളപ്പെട്ട് ഞാൻ വന്നതാണ് ഇതുവരെ നിങ്ങൾ ഇവിടെ സത്യം പറയാൻ ഏത് ഞങ്ങൾ സെക്രട്ടറിമാർ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് അവരെ ഏത് അവാർഡും ഒന്നും കൂടെ ഞാൻ എടുത്തവനല്ല അപ്പോൾ എൻ്റെ നിർദ്ധാരത്തിനെ സന്തോഷ് മാർജി അവർ തെറ്റിച്ചു ഈ നിങ്ങളെ അഭിമാനത്തിൽ വിശ്വാസത്തിൽ ഞാൻ കൂടുതൽ പറയാൻ പോകുന്നില്ല ഭഗവാനെ നിങ്ങൾ എല്ലാം അനുഗ്രഹിക്കണം വിശേഷിച്ച് ഈ പരിപാടിയിൽ നമ്മുടെ രാജ്യത്തിൻ്റെ ആദ്യ പുരുഷനായ ഗവർണറും അതുപോലെ ജസ്റ്റിസ്മാരും എല്ലാ സുഹൃത്തുക്കളും ഇവിടെ വന്ന് എന്നെ സമ്മാനം ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് നിങ്ങളെല്ലാ വിശേഷം ഒരു അഭിമാനത്തോടു കൂടി എന്നെ കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ട് ഈ ട്രസ്റ്റിൻ്റെ ഭാരവാഹികളും അതുപോലെ എന്നെ ആദരം ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ഈ ട്രസ്റ്റ് ഇനിയും നല്ല നല്ല കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യട്ടെ കൃഷ്ണയാറ് നല്ല ഒരു പ്രഭാവ വ്യക്തിയായിട്ട് എല്ലാ ജനങ്ങളും മൂപ്പരുടെ പേര് ഇന്നും ഓർമ്മിക്കുന്ന സ്ഥിതിയിൽ ആ ലോകത്തെ പറ്റിയിട്ടും മറ്റുള്ള സാമാജിക വിഷയത്തിലും ഇന്ന് സ്വാഗതത്തിൽ പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ സംഗീതത്തിലും എല്ലാവരും കൂടെ അദ്ദേഹം നല്ല സൽപേർ എടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ട് എല്ലാവരെ വിശ്വാസത്തിന് അർഹമായിട്ടുണ്ടായി അവരുടെ പേരിൽ കൊടുത്ത ഈ എന്ന് ഞങ്ങൾ ഗൗരവ ആധാരം കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ടോ അതിന് നാം കൂടുതൽ പറയാതെ എല്ലാ സുഹൃത്തുക്കൾക്കും ട്രസ്റ്റിൻ്റെ ഭാരവാഹികൾക്കും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഏവർക്കും നമ്മുടെ ആരാധ്യമൂർത്തികളായ ദക്ഷിണാമൂർത്തി ഗോപാലകൃഷ്ണ സ്വാമി ആയുടെ ആരോഗ്യ ഭാഗ്യങ്ങളെ നൽകി അനുഗ്രഹിക്കട്ടെ എന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ച് നിങ്ങൾ അഭിമാനത്തോടു കൂടി കൊടുത്ത ചക്ക് ഞാൻ നോക്കിയില്ല അതിനെ അല്പസമയത്തിന് മുമ്പേ ഇവിടെ വെള്ളം പൂക്കെല്ലാം വന്ന് വളരെ ജനങ്ങൾ കഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇതിനെ അതിനെ നിങ്ങൾ ഉപയോഗിക്കണമെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് എൻ്റെ അപേക്ഷ ഇത് രണ്ട് വാക്ക് അവസാനിപ്പിക്കാൻ പോവുകയാണ് സർവേ ജനാഹ സുഖിനോ ഭവന്തോ ഓം ശാന്തി ശാന്തി ശാന്തി
Honorable Governor of Kerala, Justice P. Sadashivam, to address this auspicious function. His Holiness, Sri Keshavananda Bharati Tirin Bada, Sri Justice Devan Ramachandran, Honorable Judge, High Court of Kerala, Advocate Shari Ahmed, Patent Law Trust, Advocate John Joseph, Member Bar Council of Kerala, Professor Jay Kumar, Law Advisor to the Honorable Chief Minister, Advocate Santosh Kumar, Chairman Law Trust, Advocate Prem Kumar, Secretary Law Trust, Advocate Mangaladara, Learned members of the bar present here, other dignitaries, Madhima Sukhuthuhale, Sahodari, Sahodan Mare, Ella Arkum, and Dea Namaskar. I am very happy to address you after presenting to Sri Keswananda Bharati, the Justice Kya Krishna Yar Award, instituted by the Legal Assistance and Welfare Trust better known as the Law Trust, Tiruvanandapuram. Let me at the outset convey my deep sense of appreciation for the initiative of the Law Trust, both in instituting this award and choosing to confer it on Sri Keswananda Bharati. This is a memorable occasion where the award in memory of one of the greatest legal luminaries is being conferred on an eminent person whose legendary legal fight had resulted in one of the most important judgments in the history of Indian judiciary. I also take this opportunity to congratulate Sri Keshwananda Bharati on receiving the award which in previous years had been convert, conferred on eminent persons like Sri V.S. Achudanandam, Professor N.R. Madhav Menon and, late, and the late advocate Neelakanda Sharma. This is also an instance to recall the services of Justice B.R. Krishnaya, who jurist Sri Fali Nariman describes as super judge. Justice Krishna Yer, who was uh, steadfast in his compassion for the downtrodden, always handled the issues with an insightful humanistic approach. He endeavored to widen the frontiers of human freedom, infusing vibrant sincerity in words and deeds. As a judge of the Supreme Court, he sought to inject a new spirit of democratic sensitivity, a sense of social initiative and prospective into Indian judicial system. Stopping for a moment, as a judge of the High Court Madras and Punjab Haryana, Punjab and Haryana and Supreme Court later as a Chief Justice, nearly 18 and a half years I had an opportunity to refer Justice Krishnaya's judgment while uh, upholding several uh, principles. That may be the reason when I joined here as a governor of the state on 5th September 2014, within a week I rushed to Ernakulam, I went to his house. I spent more than an hour with him and he mentioned uh, several uh, um, needs to be done for, for this state, including uh, bringing a separate uh, a cancer hospital similar to RCC Center at Thirvanandapuram and Kochi. And I, I, I assured him that everything I will take up those issues to the government. So um, not only I am uh, very close to the hearts of Justice Krishna here because I was also branded, when I was in Madras, a branded labor-oriented judge because I had the opportunity to decide more labor cases. I always lean, if law permits, in favor of farmers and 
uh, one camps. That is my policy that I maintained even in Supreme Court, but I cannot violate the law and render a justice. Justice Kishner was credited with the idea of free legal aid to the accused in custody since he believed that even a convict is entitled to the precious right guaranteed by Article 21. Stop it for a moment. Uh, only this uh, judgment also impressed me and uh, my colleague Justice Chauhan when we heard uh, uh, the mercy petitions of, uh, filed by the accused in Sri Rajiv Gandhi assassin's case. They were all, uh, seven persons were awarded death sentence. After a confirmation by the Supreme Court, I need not explain because most of you are members of the bar. After confirmation by the Supreme Court, uh, the death sentence, they sent a mercy petition. This enables, uh, our constitution enables them to the President of India for commutation or lesser sentence or release, early release. Unfortunately, that uh, petitions were kept pending for seven years in the Home Ministry. When uh, these uh, PILs, when these, then all of them filed a PIL that came up before me, before the bench headed myself and Chauhan. Then uh, we heard the central government, they informed the court that the delay was mainly due to uh, the information, they have to get, collect information from this trial court which awarded uh, sentence and the High Court and Supreme Court, etc. That may not be a valid ground for seven years. We said in a, when a Home Ministry sends a fax in the morning, you will get an answer in the evening. So we said uh, it is unreasonable delay, unexplained. Unfortunately, there is no law governing the issue. Then we, uh, we refer to the judgment of Justice Krishnaya. Then we traveled uh, to uh, World United Nations declarations because India was a party to several uh, UN declarations. There also it is mentioned that uh, even a death convicts is entitled certain rights. We said our Article 21 is applicable even to death convicts, not only a free person, a death convicts is also ent uh, entitled to apply. Then we held in the absence of plausible, acceptable, reasonable cause for delay, the seven years delay we held it is not properly explained. On this ground we commuted the death sentence into life. Of course, now the battle is still going on for them after 27 years, whether they have to be released or not, that is a subject matter of uh, now issues pending with the, my colleague at Tamil Nadu. So I am not going further. Just to, uh, I refer to the judgment of Justice uh, Krishna here, I mentioned this case. His timely intervention and interpretation have opened the doors of justice to the oppressed uh, classes, he had uh, literally seen all sides of political and legal life, the walls of prison, parliament and judiciary. Very rarely we get this kind of uh, uh, service from a person other than Justice Iyer. And he could do justice to all the roles he played in life, making it his mission to evolve consensus and to explore strategies to promote peace. In short, his name itself is the strongest inspiration by any lawyer. As I mentioned earlier, the case of Keshwananda Bharati versus State of Kerala that was decided in 1973 and reported in a leading uh, law journal, Supreme Court Cases, Volume 4, SEC 225, which gave us uh, the basic structure doctrine uh, is perhaps the most well-known constitutional decision of the Supreme Court of India. Here I will give some more information. This uh, 
But I'm sorry, I'm referring Keshwan and the Bharati, not that uh, I'm not giving respect to our holiness. Because normally in uh, what we mention the name of the party, uh, not only this one case by our Swamiji, uh, this involved six different repetitions by a number of petitioners who represented the property class, persons owning properties, land proprietors opposed to land sealing laws, sugar companies in Maharashtra, coal mining companies and farmer princes seeking to preserve their earlier privileges. The repetitions questioned whether there were limitations on the power of parliament to amend the constitution, particularly the fundamental rights. That was the core issue in all those repetitions. Then uh, coming to our uh, topic, while uh, ruling that there is no implied limitation on the powers of parliament to amend the constitution, it held that the 13 benches, here also eight, um, I will mention the correct figures, uh, it held that no amendment can do violence to its basic structure. The majority view held that no amendment can do violence to its basic structure. Further, it established Supreme Court's right of review and therefore established its supremacy on constitutional matters. The case and its verdict had far-reaching implications by playing a major role in preserving India's parliamentary democracy. The advocates and law students sitting here may well recall that the heights of eloquence to which eminent jurist led Nani Palkiwala had risen during this case has never been surpassed in the history of the Supreme Court. As we all know, Sri Keshwananda Bharti, leader of the Afamat in Kerala, had challenged the Constitution 29th Amendment because I am going to do what are all the subsequent amendments. This challenge relates to 29th Amendment, Constitution Act 1972, which placed the Kerala Land Reforms Act 1963 and its amending act into 9th schedule of the Constitution. You are, most of the lawyers are aware what will be the effect of uh, inserting certain laws into the 9th schedule. The Supreme Court bench in this Keshwananda part, this case, 13 judges, totally 13 judges, ultimately upheld the um, land, uh, the upheld the Land Reforms Act and the Amendment Acts that had been challenged in a 7-6 majority. That is the problem in many sensational matters. The majority is only one. Seven judges upheld, six deferred. Now I remember nothing wrong in disclosing this uh, reported case. When I had the opportunity to hear uh, the election of then President of India, Mr. Pranab Mukherjee, his unsuccessful candidate Sangma, who contested for presidency, challenged it in the Supreme Court. As per the rules, it has to be only Supreme Court gets jurisdiction and it has to be heard minimum five judges, constitution bench. Now I was one of the five judge bench. My predecessor, uh, um, Althamas Kabir was the chief justice, I was number two. We heard it for one month, even Ram Jetmalani appearing for uh, Sangma has threatened, now I am going to bring so and so to this witness box, etc., etc. He, that is his uh, type of argument. Uh, we heard it patiently, we noted everything. Ultimately, why I am saying there also, out of five, three judges upheld his election, two deferred, two held that election is bad. See, narrow, only one, because of one judges, 
a verdict, everything was went on smooth till his uh, period is coming to an end. No, sometimes it happens. But it depends upon the person who holds the bench. To my knowledge, I can proudly say I had the opportunity to preside over several constitution bench judgments and I persuaded my colleagues to give a unanimous uh, judgment. In fact, I can, because advocates are there, I can say to one more judgment and I proceed. When uh, the member of parliament fund, MP land fund was uh, introduced, passed by the parliament. Unfortunately, one of the sitting member of the Rajya Sabha, even now he is a sitting member from uh, Jammu Kashmir region. He is a leader of a Panther party. His name is Bhim Singh, Mr. Bhim Singh. He challenged that MP lad. That also came up before a constitution bench. Originally before three judges bench, headed by Justice K.G. Balakishan, my chief justice. And I was on his right and one more judge on his left on the first bench. Then uh, Mr. Venugoba, the, the present attorney general was his advocate. He started arguing, I convey to Honorable Chief Justice, it is an important issue. So it is going to be a, uh, it, it, is, it, it may, suppose if you hold against, it may affect the members, elected members of parliament and uh, uh, legislature, why not be referred to larger bench, constitution bench? Uh, Justice Balakrishnan readily agreed and referred the matter to next week and uh, to the constitution bench. In the constitution bench, my seniority was four. He was a junior judge. Then uh, Mr. Venugopal in his capacity, he argued the whole day, maybe up to 3.30. He convinced all the four judges this uh, legislation is bad. He convinced the judges, maybe except myself. I did not agree with him. Uh, we cannot give a money to our elected government. They may misuse it. This is his argument. It should be rooted only through budget, state and central budget. Then at uh, 3.30, the attorney general came and argued defended the government. Within half an hour, he concluded his argument. Four o'clock, we resolved. That is a practice and the, all of us, we went to Chief Justice Chamber because the bench was presided over by Chief Justice. He offered the... Then uh, he asked us to express uh, our individual views. All the four judges have a little doubt. Then, uh, like her, like uh, Attorney General, I convinced all the four judges, sir, I come from a rural area. I know the needs of our public, the rural people. Suppose a government is a different political party, particular MP or MLA is a different political party. He or she may not get a good scheme in his constituency. Where these people will go? That, that is happening. It is not a secret thing. Because I, I am a farmer's son, I know these problems. Before my elevation to Supreme Court, my village road was only a mud road. Only after my elevation, so many persons visited, then the collector put a tar road and I am happy. Now it is, I am using it conveniently. No way I am mentioning. Then I convinced. Not only that, constitutionally it is valid. There is a provision in the uh, constitution. There is a miscellaneous provision. So even if there is any problem in our home accounts, we will put some amount under the miscellaneous expense and tally. So that was the intention of the framers. So we can bring it. And I said, after all, they are all elected by people. We are not elected by people, even governors. That is my view. We always must respect the elected people. So they may, and if you go through the scheme, there are several checks and balls. The MPR MLA cannot use this money as he likes. It should be approved by the district collector if it is within district. If it is within Thiruvananthapuram, it should be approved by the corporation commissioner. And after the completion of work, all the details accounts have to be placed before assembly and parliament respectively. When there are so many checks and bounds, why should we take away the power of the elected government? Then all the four judges agreed. 
that these chief justices asked me to ask me to prepare a judgment. Within a week, I prepared a judgment. It is a 77 page judgment. Upheld the validity unanimously. I upheld the validity. Thereafter, I received the letters from 41 MPs of all political parties. Sir, at least one or two judges like you are here to recognize the elected members' right. Maybe that is my view from the beginning. Now, why I have mentioned several things in the court we decide, sensational or something. And coming to our topic, we may say that Keshwananda Bharati had lost the case, but causing a decision that further strengthened our democracy is no small matter. We have seen that despite many amendments so far made, the hopes and ideas of those who framed our constitution remains as intact and identifiable as when it was adopted by the Constituent Assembly in 1949. You may not aware if you had opportunity to sit in Supreme Court on Tuesday to Thursday, Monday and Friday, we made the judges, I can't say now we may, judges may fly like fly. They can't uh, spend more than 30 seconds to each case because they need eight reason. The front page wrapper to last page. I can proudly say the, the work of our judges of the judges in judiciary, particularly Supreme Court and High Court, is like an armed forces. We never waste. Once we accept the judicial post, we first day itself we get a judicial separation from our wife because we have to concentrate all day and night. That I think. So these fresh matters we decide within a minute. But when you say Matagate, when you sit in the court on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you may get bored. Because even for a settled principle of 3 plus 3 is 6, we may ask several judgments. Why don't you refer some discussion in the Constitution, uh, Constituent Assembly or even 19 the old act, etc. Because that is, that is the Supreme Court is the last court. So far, I don't think any God has changed its view. Unless the parliament reverses, modifies, amends, uh, then um, we owe this principally, principally to the Supreme Court's decision in the case filed by Sri Keswan the Bharati. In a way, by losing a case, he too had scored a victory of special social kind. What the Supreme Court faced in 1973 was a struggle for supremacy. Keshwananda Bharati created a check on parliamentary attempts to eliminate judicial review and seek absolute power to amend the constitution. But it also conceded to parliament the widest latitude to institute socio-economic policies. It infused to recognize the right to property as a basic future of the constitution, overruling Golaknath case and paving the way for land reforms. For paucity of time, I am not going into Golaknath case. A prayer to Keshwananda Bharati, nearly 30 constitutional amendments had already been passed since the constitution came into effect in 1950. And there have been nearly, after the Keshavananda Bharati's judgment, nearly 70, 70 amendments since Keshavananda Bharati were carried out by the parliament. Despite the larger number of amendments made to the Indian constitution, the hope and ideas of its framers remain intact and identifiable as the constitution adopted by the Constituent Assembly in 1949. We owe this principally to the Supreme Court's decision in Keshwananda Bharati's case. On a personal side, Sri Keshwananda Bharati, who has been a sannyasi since the age of 19, is heading Sri Edenil Mat, which belongs to Parambara of Sri Totak 
Totankacharya, one of the first four disciples of Sri Adi Sankaracharya, apart from being a Carnatic and Hindustani vocalist and master of all sections of Yakshana, Swamiji has also written many devotional song, songs and dramas. One of the, on the social level, he has been fearless in his opinions about matters of religious faith and spirituality as seen in his views on the developments in the Sri Padmanabha Swami temple in Tiruvannandapuram. I am certain that in his role as a leader of, in education and dissemination of art and culture, he is continuing, uh, contributing greatly to the cultural achievement of our society. I convey my best wishes to Sri Kesamananda Bharati for a healthy and more fruitful life ahead. I must admit that I too feel honored to have got an opportunity to present this award to him. The confirmation of this award is another instance that emphasizes the supreme power of our sublime constitution which is most progressive holy book of democracy. The essence and everlasting strength of our constitution must reach every citizen of our country so that they would be empowered to contribute to, to the strength of our democracy. I hope the law trust which conducts legal awareness programs and provides legal aids to the needy would also take up campaigns to educate the masses on the strength of our constitution and our rights and duties prescribed in it. Day after tomorrow, I am going to Kasargol district where at my request the uh, Rotary Club uh, has printed the preamble and fundamental duties in the constitution <laughs> in, in a three-page note both in Malayalam and English, they are going to distribute all students free of cost. So if every student is aware of the uh, preamble of our constitution and fundamental duties, yes, everyone claim fundamental rights and rights slogans in front of uh, Secretariat and Raj Bhavan. They have a right, but they, are, they must also remember fundamental duties. So I am going to uh, ask every district you should be supplied to all the students before I leave this state. I once again repeat every one present here today and compliment the organizers for conducting this function in a befitting manner. Hello, welcome and Assam Sagal, Nani Chai. Thank you, sir, for your valuable and enlightening address. Next. I request Advocate Spray Kumar to deliver the most. Honorable Governor of Kerala, Justice Sri Savasivam, His Holiness Sri Sri Keshavan Dabadi, the Father, Honorable Justice Mr. Devan Navendran, Respected Shahid Omar Sir, Respected Vikas Jayamar Sir, Sandor Sir, Joseph Sir, Mogadhara Madam, dear friends. Like every year, this year also a grace of God, the Lord just to be able to confer the prestigious year Krishna year award to recognize and honor those who have gone to the society. We are very much prepared that this year also the prestigious award was given. We have also been privileged to have honor justice Mr. David Ramajan, Judge Shankar of Kerala. His words of hands offered by souls and elevated us all. My yes, sir, since I have told you, we are very much trust to have all the C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C C for being with us in the auspicious occasion and delivered this process after the others. I thank you, sir, and my own and want to know the loss. <laughs> we have heard that the sister is open to the learned person engaged you on the address of the law for the honorable chief minister of Kerala. 
They have also considered an excellent seminar during the previous session. I am responsible of since the price to get to the general assault on the top of the water sky fire. I have such a sincere gratitude and a summer to Massa for his excellent letter speech. He is our guru and the chairman of the Lotus. He has given all the leaders support and cooperation for this kind of action. I express our sincere thanks to him for my own and without it. Thank you. 